All right. Sorry for the hold up. Apologize for the launch entry. It's time to hop on and okay, the connection is working. Oh, Jack and Jake are on. That's nice. How exciting. So I will simply pop on in. See how this is going to work. Hmm. Gotta wait for it to load me in. Couple of muffins in the meantime. It's gonna wait a sec. So no, this works. Mm -hmm. Why is it taking so long? Well, the ice bowl is ready. Has been ready. It's been down there. What I do is wait for it to boot. Hmm. There we go, there we go. Hello. Hmm. And it is the middle of daytime. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. I think back to that stronghold. In a second, just gotta make sure. Okay. Do I have my inventory? Okay, I did put everything away. So just head back to the stronghold. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. I wanted to go down the other side. Hello, hi Kozu, how are you doing? Hajime Mashtenshi. I'm exploring a stronghold right now that a couple of my friends found. I'm leeching off their hard work and effort. I don't think they know I'm here. Thank you. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Any updates on anything of particular note? Once I go through looting here, I'm wondering what I'll do next. Hmm. Because among other things, I think I might actually want to put my base in another dimension called... So, was the brain freeze another kind of drink? Or are you just talking about drinking the slushy too fast? Uh, I presume you're talking about the latter, knowing you. Oh, there's nothing in there. Hmm. It's gonna be in the barrels in the chest. Yeah, I... I sadly figured as much. Industrial Revolution. What did I just... Iron and carbon and repeat. Okay, so we got some steel. It's just iron. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. I have a lot of things in storage now. Might be able to hopefully upgrade the backpack soon. But... Anything else of note, or healing circle? Hello. So I'm trying to figure out right now where I'd like to make a new base. Because I might have to give up the location of my old one to Jack in order to get him to tell where other people's bases are, and I might be able to use that as leverage, so to speak. Or at least just be able to find other people that way. But I'd have to either make a fake base or figure out some other way to do it. It's an idea. Anything special about the spaghetti? Is it from Jollibee's or something? Mm -hmm. 
I know you're not Filipino, but I, I think you're, you're 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 spiritually Filipino. If you catch my drift. Hmm. Flood brawler's gem. Yeah, exactly. Have to trick him. Okay, these chainmail gloves are not. Anything I really need. All those bundles are just kind of eh. Those horns are eventually going to be nice to make me drink me. Three ingredient cookies. As in three cookies that each had one ingredient or one cookie with three ingredients. Oh, it. I thought you were going to say they were good because you said she was good at making spaghetti. That. Yeah, that sounds a bit dangerous, I will say. It, especially if they were undercooked. Oh, yeah. I've said this before, but cooking... Cooking is vibes, baking is chemistry. You can't afford to just... Kind of just... Go by the fly when you're baking. You have to really, really know what you're doing there. I... Well, it depends on what you're ba- Yeah, exactly. It depends on what you're baking, kind of. Seeds are present inside. Let's... And what did I... Bell pepper, celery, and spinach. I did not have bell pepper. Is it somehow it seems a bat got in lava and is burning. That's kinda sad. And even with the Okay, this copper pickaxe does not need to exist. But the The oatmeal muffins I make still have a decent number of ingredients, even though they're basically just oatmeal that you bake. They've still got yeah, maybe so. Experience iron pickaxe. Uh, you still have to put in eggs. I don't put in sugar, even though the recipe says to put in maple syrup as a sugar substitute. Oh, starfall. That sounds fun. I need to... Hmm, mess around with some of my scrolls, maybe. Got a decent amount of them. I should find a way to make a better spell book. I'd have to go kill a hoglin. Rosberg token is okay. Don't need these copper items. Hmm. It's nice to get things from chests, though. Um, what's the mocha? Oh, that happened to me once, actually. Back when I was working at a pizza place. And it was really, really funny. Because I just wa a lot of other people were panicking, and I just walked out very, very slowly. And my biggest concern was... Oh, okay. Well, what happened was the pizza stove, the knob came out. And it didn't catch fire, but it started leaking gas. And we all had to leave the building, and a lot of people were kind of freaking. And I was just sort of, oh my goodness, I left my water bottle behind. And that was my big worry, and people thought I was really brave. But it wasn't that, I just had very, very strange priorities. Yeah, that... That's dangerous. Dangerous and unpleasant. Yeah, Hydro Flask. It was really, really funny because I got a Hydro Flask, Flask as a gift from family before, and this was years upon years ago, before it was really a phenomenon. So I just had it. But I never used it until another water bottle, a plastic water bottle I had broke because I dropped it. It. I was... Wage labor leads people to... Places, they wouldn't go with guns. But, as I was... It... I, I don't think that would have been you. I think... The thing about hair dryers is that they draw a crazy amount of power. As you may or may not know. I wouldn't think it would be you in as much as it would just be... Issues with power draw in southern Italy. Because... Southern Italy lacks basic and essential infrastructure. Okay. Come on. So how far up does this go? Okay, so there's something right here. Okay, this is just Arcane Essence and Redstone. So the problem was just technology hating you. It... That kind of reminds me of how in a lot of... In some fantasy settings, dwarves have an innate anti-magic aura sort of thing. Where they can't use magic, but magic is similarly ineffective on them. So you, you might have some kind of anti-technology aura or something. It wouldn't even surprise me at this point, and I don't think it would surprise you. Hmm. Let's put a bit more light in here. What? Huh? 
That... That's insane. Huh? I just... That's actually kind of scary. That is... Not... All of it. Oh, Hajime Mashenshi butts tough. We're doing some All the Mods 9 SMP. Nobody's in chat right now, but there are two people on here. I might try to hunt them down and kill them. How are you doing? Ooh, a spawner. But this is actually a stronghold a couple of my friends found. They want me to play a villain. So I'm thinking about maybe breaking all the loot chests. Oh my... What, what do you mean by God modded? What did... What? What did... I... To quote Mean Girls, why are you white? Oh, okay, 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 understandable. Mm. Brat? The hit album by Charlie XCX. Either way, it's good to good to see you. Good to meet new people. It Exactly, exactly. Thank you for understanding the reference. For what it's worth, I haven't watched the movie. I need to rectify that. It what do, you, what do you mean by brat green? I, I know about, I know the cover is green. I saw someone on the internet. They said, they, they said, what if it was Bart and it was yellow and it was just the cover of brat, but it said Bart and it was yellow. That, that may or may not come as a surprise to you. It's just, I got so much stuff. It was kind of interesting to me to see her become kind of an icon. Why does your head hurt? Did you hit it again? Don't, 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 don't die, please. It would really put a drag on things. But as I was saying... You hurt yourself every other day, I swear. It, don't... Oh my goodness. Okay, so how many things can I put back in? It's... I might need to do a storage expansion. Well, the reason... I'm, I'm dead sure. I am dead certain that the reason people decided it was the color of the summer is because people liked the album and it had that color... Am I wrong? Is the chain of causation the other way around? I could easily be wrong. But I was under the impression that the album came out, and then people were just like, this is the album of the summer, so the color of the album is now the color of the summer. Is that wrong? I'm worried now. Okay, I... After this room, I'm probably gonna have to put it away. I... Or, or is there a domestic argument in chat right now? I I have to be fair to everyone. I don't think I can do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. You know, it... Okay, people in the house were just talking about food. It... What, what do you mean by started it? I feel like culpability is always a very complicated and dangerous thing. Thank you, thank you. It... <sighs> it's just that whole stop fighting meme, you know? You know what I'm talking about? It's... The funniest one I saw was one that didn't edit... That a flaw with solar gem. More gravity, more step height. Eh, interesting. It... I, I think... There's a domestic aspect to this. There's a domestic aspect that makes it a little bit different, I think. It... I think... Saying actually is like how technically one of the new... One of the current definitions of the word literally is just figuratively, which hurts me on a deep and spiritual level. It literally, literally does not mean literally. It makes me want to bash my head against the wall until I start coughing up blood. It... Oh, is literally a big word now? I... Huh? I weep for the future of this generation. The same one I... 
I thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. It's been years since anyone mentioned that. It's been years since they had Alanis Morissette ironic discourse. But every time it comes on the radio, I just think it's not ironic. It's maybe unexpected, but it's not ironic. There's nothing about the nature of Magnificent Mansion. Oh, that's a D&D &D reference. That could be a fun one to play around with. Just a free house. But there, there's nothing about a wedding that necessitates it looking nice. It's just you expect it to. It's not particularly ironic. It's just unpleasant and unexpected. It... Well, it... I, I want to say to our favorite Italian... You're, you're, you're Gen Alpha coded. Every time you talk, I expect you to say skibbity toilet or something. Okay. That's... I just... There was a news story that I saw recently that was about that whole thing where... There's a whole thing with... It... Ouch. Ouch. But as I was... Okay, let's hide my cords real quick while I teleport back to... Base. Free teleports are so sweet. It There are various ways to teleport, but you can order just teleport too. That's what I said. I said you were gen alpha coded. That's why I said every time you talk, I expect you to say skibbity toilet or something. But the big thing is that, as you may or may not know, skibbity stuff is made in Source Filmmaker. Which is a movie making software that uses sort of the game engine used to make games like Half-Life and Portal. And the guy who made it sold off the rights to it to some holding company. And they ended up suing Valve, I believe, for using their own engine because modern copyright stuff is ridiculous and stupid. And the creator came on to say it wasn't him and it was just the company, but it's really just... So much silliness. What is Charisma House? It it's frightening. It I I I used to have more sensitive chat filters, and then certain Italian individuals forced me to be more lenient with them. It was not something I really had any control over, or at least something I'm not going to admit having control over. Okay, we can get more. Stamina from the spirit orbs right now. Okay, have fun. If what why does he get mad if you don't have don't have audio? That Every, everything there is very frightening. Oh, oh okay, it Ouch. Well either way. Take your time. We hope to have you back soon. I'm gonna go back to the stronghold and loot more. And then maybe dungeons and loot more. And then maybe people's houses and loot more. Have to cause problems. It... I, I've had similar experiences with other people. I'll say that much. Oh, well. Good luck. Mm, it just... Where, where do people get off acting like that? It's just... It, it's so much easier to just not care about stuff like this. If you can... You, you know what I'm saying? It... Maybe. It, it depends on how often things are. If it was maybe once a week ever gets on or something, that could be one thing. The big thing is just there are lots of things I'm trying to juggle. I mean, no offense. Okay. But it, it could be interesting. I guess my question is just do any of you have interest in modded oh, anarchy? I... That's very, very tempting. You have no idea how tempting that is for me. I would... I could hop on every now and then just to rob people. That could be fun. And more... Hump day, summon a camel. Well, you can summon a camel with a horse? It's crazy. Well, it... It's what people expect of me at this point. People expect me to be cruel. If I didn't do that, I would be going against people's expectations. And at that point, it would... It's about playing a character. It's about committing to the bit. And torch flower seeds. 
in regular Minecraft? Fluffy mustard barley. Eggplant. Eggplant. Double agent thief. Among us. Well, it... The big thing is, is that... And this is what... This was the whole point of Thomas Hobbes' Leviathan. That in a state of anarchy, with no method of, with no methodology for enforcement, it's a constant war against all of all against all, and the weakest can kill the strongest. There's no such thing as security in any way, shape, or form. You always have to be watching your back, and you can't trust that anyone won't just try to screw you over. Which is why you need to give you need to give sovereignty and absolute power to some sort of authority. Well, that's why you gotta hide your stuff. Gotta make sure nobody knows where it is. Question is just... The big thing about that, though, is... Before we continue this funeral, I'd like to thank our sponsor, NordVPN. Have you seen that? It's It was on back when Go, Go Commit Die was big. One of those Roblox meme things. It... Who is... Is Jessica Fletcher an Italian thing? Whenever you say something and I'm not familiar... I always have to ask, is this an Italian thing? Because nine times out of ten it is. And I get to learn more about Italy. And then nine times out of ten, I get a little afraid. I don't. Who is Jessica Fletcher? Okay, diamond boots. What's in here? Just... Okay, I don't need that. But it does have a... Eh, uh, that enchantment's not all that good. Also not all that good. Nothing in here is all that good. That library, though, could be nice. I think I'll take an axe to this library and just take all the books. I think that'd be smart. Because I'm going to need a lot of books for apotheosis type stuff eventually, and... Lectern could be nice. We'll take that. Yep, and it's got apothea apotheosis style enchanting, just like Dawncraft did. And, okay, and that just gives string, but that might actually be better than cobwebs at the moment. Hmm... It, I might be a little illiterate, or at least uncultured. This is your opportunity to get one over on me. I don't imagine you'll pass it up. Smithing template. Blessing longevity and temptation for luring animals. It... There are a lot of things that are American, okay? Doesn't mean I know them all. Telconnect fishing rod. Make it immune of craftian. Interesting. Some of these are going to be magic items. It, is she some kind of detective? I just remember, I saw someone on the internet say that when they were young, and they were first learning about Carmen Sandiego stuff, they thought that the entire idea was to find Carmen Sandiego and... Oh, okay, okay. To find Carmen Sandiego and then go on heists and do funny evil stuff with her, and they ended up disappointed when they found out that the entire point was just... Tracking her down. The lady in yellow. Well, actually, what I should do, frankly, is... I can make a sensitive glyph right now. And I'd be able to silk touch all this, so I think I'll do that instead. Let's go back to my house real quick. Hmm. Where is my... Okay, my magic stuff is over here. For sensitive, I needed scaffolding, which I've got some somewhere... But besides that, I'm not quite sure. We need sensitive. Okay, bucket of water, a poppy, and scaffolding. So for scaffolding, I know I have some of that. I've also picked up a poppy somewhere. So I need a bucket of water, bamboo, and string. That wouldn't be hard to make. Helping actual detectives. Oh, interesting. It. I remember seeing some advertisements back when I was watching... It might have been the Godzilla movie last year. The new one, the Godzilla Minus One. Which my dad took me to go watch with some of, his, some of his friends his own age, actually, which was pretty funny, but... Okay, we need puppy... Bucket... to get some water in. Bucket... Oh, we got a bunch of buckets. I could actually get... I also need a snow... kelp and a snowball for water essence. So I can make more essences. Snow. Oh, right. I need to make a snow block with snowballs. And then should have some scaffolding somewhere. Right here. Make another glyph. But before that, I should probably 
Empty out. What do I got in here? I do have some things I should empty out. Oh, oh! I know, I knew that Giallo was for films, but I thought that was for sort of grindhouse crime films. I've heard the, ter the term Giallo used for Italian cinema, but is it also for detective stuff too? I was not aware of that, so. Chip the Lunar Gem. And what did I just... Are more people sleeping now? That might be worrisome. It's only one out of three right now, but... If it was Okay, I need the buckets back. Bucket. Put in two buckets, and then... Put the rest of these scrolls away. I need... I need a way to sort this eventually, too. It's nice to be able to search, but it isn't everything. So now we can make some more magic glyphs and get free silk touch. Okay, there we go. Two water buckets. You see it shows two as a stack size, even though they don't actual, actually stack. And we're going to put that in here. Use this for essences, because you need kelp. And right first, we need to craft the snow block. There we go. And that means I'll be able to make... I could make cold snap now, maybe. I should make a source link in a second, actually. I did- what? Huh? Wait, what just happened? Oh, it put it on there. I did not mean that. Did not mean for that. Okay. What we need to do is make sensitive. Should be good. We're gonna have to lose that bucket. I did not mean to do that. That's right. That's right, because I didn't... I took that off. And I unbound any kind of tossing and... Do you have to toss it with Q? I'd have to. Wait, did it... Huh? Did it just give me the bucket back? I'm gonna take that. I'll take that one. Mysteries of broken wood. So it's Jalo Channel. Interesting. It was! I do like how the Earthquake spell does not actually destroy anything. It makes things convenient. Still have our everlasting beef, which is slow but certain hunger restoration. And I guess I can just put... I guess I'll hold on to this water bucket for now. Big thing is furnace, bone meal. Oh, that doesn't do anything right now. We should need break and not amplify, but sensitive. It's a silk touch pickaxe. Just naming all of these after the closest equivalent in actual Minecraft tools and materials, because I want to be funny about it. It... Using what towards you walk medically towards someone? Oh, the earthquake? Well, what I'd use the earthquake for is just destroying a big group of enemies with AoE. Because as of right now, I don't really have access to AoE options other than the earthquake. I could make a fire damage spell glyph, as well as an ice damage spell glyph. I do have a couple of options, but as of right now, the big thing is that I can keep things from spawning in here in the first place by just putting down sword putting down torches with this Contra Major Light spell. Which means that I don't really have to worry about fighting anything, especially things in groups. It... I, I wouldn't say that's true. Especially since... I would never want to just scare people off. I would only want to actually kill them and take their stuff. Because as of right now, as the villain, my goal is to... The only thing I can really do, especially since a lot of the other people on here who are serious... Well, drama is something I can do once I have the capability to just kill people outright. And wait, did I... Huh? Does Silk Touch not work on this? That's interesting. Let me just check, and it's sensitive, which means... Oh no, that was wrong. Silk Touch is different, okay. Let me see then. Let's try that again. So what glyph do I actually need to make it do a silk touch? But like I said, the only thing I can really do is impede people from progressing. Because Dom and Jack in particular, this is the only game they play right now. The only thing they're doing is progressing in the mod back. So if I want a way to... Okay, so that's what, that's what. So if I want that, I'm going to need emeralds. What other ones could I make right now? That would actually be good. I don't really need to randomize. Maybe we need a firework star. That needs another brick. Well, it's... I was told... I was told to be a villain. 
And they specifically requested that I act in an antagonistic capacity, and I forgot to turn things back on. That's right. I... The big thing is... Okay, so I've got an Extract Glyph going right now. I need an Emerald, and that gives me Silk Touch. It, the big thing is, is... The reason I hide things when I teleport is so that if... It's complicated. The main thing is, in terms of fixing things, is... I gotta put black boxes over the part that shows the distances on the coordinate teleport screen. Well, I was in the waypoint teleport screen, because someone sufficiently determined could theoretically use that to triangulate me. And I would not like that to happen. I mean, in the end, it's very much a sort of, as at least right now, no one is acting meaningfully antagonistic. But once people do, I'd like to have an edge. Okay, so we can take that right now. Then, the main thing is that every glyph I make with Ars Nouveau gives me more mana. Which allows me to just, and more mana regen, which just allows me to cast more spells. And this is what we want, we want to extract. It's okay. It's okay. Like I said, you have to pass it off as a kind of charm. Don't let it stop you. So make the Silk Touch pickaxe not sensitive, but extract. Okay, now there we go. Now we can teleport back to the stronghold. And just get those bookshelves directly, so I won't have to get more wood in order to craft more bookshelves afterwards. It... Yeah. For Italian specifically, or for people trying to learn English in general? H and the E, well it... If I promise not to make fun of you for bad spelling, would you be willing to just say things regardless of whether it was all the way through or not? Okay, local librarian and toggled off the trash slot. No, I'll keep it not on. So we'll need this eventually for some apotheosis enchanting it. Yep, it takes a bit more mana, as you would expect. That's fine, though. Hmm. So I know that there's a... What would happen if I use this on the spawner? Oh, it just drops the spawner. Ah, collect it using Silk Touch. I like that. So this Ancient Tome Unbreaking Thorns, unfortunate that could be quite good. There we go. So finding more strongholds eventually would allow us to get more of those Ancient Tomes, which would allow me to also get... Very, very strong, abnormally strong enchantments. Interesting. Should probably try to get some of these cobwebs to maybe, because you can use them to remove bad curse enchantments. It's an idea. Give up and not write. Fair enough. You can you can communicate in suitably emotional grunts, I think. You should try that next and see if it works. I think it's a promising method of promising avenue to pursue. Well, I should just go back to base, actually, and try making a number of glyphs. Because as you can see, it took a while for that man to regenerate. I'm going to need the glyphs eventually. One big thing is that eventually I'll be, make, be able to make outright homing projectiles. One of the spells I got really, really, really good use out of in... Right, I need to make an agronomic source link. In order to get source four. Well, for that, I also need more source jars, which means glass. Agronomic. Growing stuff down there. Source link, and that's source gems, wheat, and gold. Let's put in some coal. What brains? I think you're kind of safe there, so don't worry. Take care of yourself. But, as I was saying... So we need gold. Gold. And did you sneeze all your brains out afterwards? I'm sorry to hear that. That can't have been fun. Okay. Source gem. Okay. Let's make a bit more... 
Put this down about my crops to collect source after it makes jars. Where's jar? You mean sophomore year? Oh no, it's oh no, it's really, really bad then. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so the source row needs glass, archwood slabs. Do I have any glass in here? Glass. How did I get that much glass? Whatever. And then archwood. I this is what I've got the most of the flourishing. We just make a bunch of jars, actually. Should be good. If we made 17, it would be good. Okay. Oh, right. I need to make more of these. How many if I need? 17, I need 17 times 6. 102. So 99 or so. And that means 4. Eighty-seven, which means eighty-eight. Put twenty-two of these down should be good. Yeah, please don't restart it. Interesting. Yeah, please, please take care of yourself. Don't hurt yourself for my sake or anyone else's. If you need to take care of yourself, take care of yourself. That should be first priority. So let's make. Hmm. So cut this in half. You can make 24, sure, why not? It's a good number of jars, and then the more jars we need. We can make three more jars, which means should be fine. A stone? The allergies? That the allergy person? Imagine if there was an allergy fairy. Like the tooth fairy, but their job was just to give people really annoying allergies. It. I feel like that's the kind of thing they could do on Fairly Odd Parents. It would be maybe a little mean spirited. But. Oh, okay. Well, I guess maybe they could do a food for people with avocado allergy fairy too. Which would also be unpleasant. Ah, and here we go. We got. How many, ooh, we got two from that. That's nice. I need to make better farm stuff eventually. Okay, so we can put, start putting the source jars down. And I did not mean to do that. Okay, how do I, come on. There we go, jars down. So we'll start collecting a resource called source for us. It, allergies, to what extent are allergies even genetic? I was never under the impression that allergies were particularly genetic. Though, it, I always heard that they developed kind of randomly, maybe if you kind of had an understimulated immune system. You know, that if you didn't really expose yourself to things that would cause allergic, well, you know, foreign substances, you would get allergy issues, maybe. I don't know. So this should be, it's a little lopsided, but this can be a temporary source gathering setup. We'll just see what comes in. We should harvest all these crops. First. Oh, we can't go down under right now. Great, okay. Hmm. Need a way to get in here. Actually, if I go from this side, it's fine. I, I was not aware of allergies running in families. That's interesting. It's just, I got so many crops in here. I, eventually, I'll be able to do it fully mechanically. But at that point, I'd have to find another way to gather source is the thing. Guess I could break that melon down just so the source would keep getting gathered. Okay, strawberry. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here. Come on, come on. Let's take this all. Put this in. And we got a bit more essence, which is nice, but used to make various seeds that grow things like cow materials and the like the only thing you don't have is allergies interesting well it if it's immune system connected you know some allergy some genetic basis makes sense but it oh i've heard a lot of people talking about the role of 
like I've said, sort of an understimulated immune system causing allergies, especially in this day and age. A lot of people have talked about in connection with sort of, honestly, behavioral disorders too. Just in the sense of the idea of gut-brain linkage especially, that your gut microbiome can oftentimes have connections to how your brain functions, and the fact that you know, as dumb as it sounds that kids don't really eat dirt anymore, people have said that may or may, may be kind of connected to stuff like that. I don't know. It's not my area of expertise. Put this in. Hopefully get a bit of source eventually. Yeah, I've heard about that. That That's part of why smell is such an important component of attraction for a lot of people. That it's, and I think, for better or worse, you know, a bit of devil's advocate, that a lot of people disregard what physical traits tell you about people other than just how they look. And it's, every now and then, people will sort of ask, okay, why do people find people who are good at dancing attractive, for example? And it's... And this and th that one is a bit more sort of obvious or on the nose, but it's to an extent it signifies physical stability. It, to a certain extent, I'd say, the perfume industry probably exactly wants you to know, because the entire point is a sort of biohack, the portion of the human brain that cares about how potential partners smell. Debunked. But it. Uh, for a lot of things, it is kind of a, an it-depends sort of thing, and I mean that in the sense of... It's hard to specifically confirm or deconfirm a lot of things. In order to get tier 3 spells, I would need to kill the wild and filter not undead, filter summon. Oh, this... We could get the dog summoning spell. That would be fun. What I should probably do is just try to accumulate as many materials that I specifically need to craft glyphs. And just slap them in a chest so that whenever I can actually craft this stuff, I can put it right there. Yeah, there's a wolf summon. A wolf summon spell that summons wolves is summoned familiars to attack things. And that would be... Pretty nice for group fights. I do have a spell that allows me to summon a Vex. Which, not in Ars Nouveau, but in a separate spell mod. In Iron Spells and Spellbooks, which is a pretty nice one. So I just want to see. That Artificer's Cane is not Ars Nouveau, even if it does have Amethyst in it. So Shears and Conjure Terrain, that needs Dirt and Earth Essence. It's... To make Essences, I need... I really, really want Source. I guess I could put all my source gems in that chest for one, but it's annoying not being able to check what I need to craft glyphs with what I have right now. And pressure plate, any kind of wooden pressure plate and iron boots. Do I have any iron boots right now? Be interesting to check. It, like I said, it, and this is mainly about psychology, but there, have you ever heard of something called the replication crisis? Spellcasting, max health, that's interesting. Armor, mana, swim speed of the spellcaster. Those are broken, though. Hmm. The replication crisis is essentially... It was something that came up a few years ago, and essentially the idea behind it all was a lot of supposedly landmark experiments in psychology were put under review for the first time in a while, and it turned out that their results couldn't really be replicated. That it was all... Snake oil might be strong, but it was essentially that... A lot of them seemed like kind of weird one-off results or otherwise just... Not necessarily reliable. Because in the sense that... And this is... A lot of people... When people talk about sort of modern science and scholarship... it A lot of people talk about what's known as a 
publish or perish mindset. And some people, there were, there were people talking about that recently, and there was some absolute piece of shit dumbass who said, well, it's just because, you know, in every job, you have to do your job. You're an idiot. That's why academics are so useless, and we don't need academia. And it's, no, you're a fucking dumbass. The entire point of publish and perish is that there is a constant strive for new results or results that look interesting instead of things that... Things like replication, which aren't pretty, but are rather important for making sure that the field is, you know, actually holds up to scrutiny. Because if you always just go for sort of groundbreaking results and nothing is ever repeated, there's a lot of incentive for people to do things that are a bit unethical. Not necessarily fake results, but play fast and loose with their scientific methodology in order to get these big, shocking results, doing things like... There, there's a concept known as p-hacking, which is... To make a long story short, effectively, it's... You set your tolerances really, really high. Effectively, you say that this amount of range of variables confirms things for us when it doesn't have... Yeah, when it doesn't necessarily actually confirm things. It's interesting that it randomizes pink specifically. The best way to do that is simple. Okay, so underfoot would be simple to make. We can make that right now, actually. So let's take that out and... Wait, where did I put my... Did I put the boots back? I am sorry to hear that you were blown up by the creeper while talking. This is literally so sad. It... Did I put the boots back? I put the boots back, didn't I? That was stupid of me. Iron boots, but... And I... Wait, what? Where did they go? I don't have... Nothing's trashed right now. It couldn't have gone in the rice cooker. Where did my... The boots and the pressure... I may be going insane and... But what happened to that water bucket? I... Huh? Oh, it automatically took them from my inventory, I think. No, it took them from the chest automatically. Right, right, it does do that. And arc projecto, that's, okay, that's tier two, that's simple. Slime ball, ender pearl, arrow, and snowball. It's just a bunch of options. Slime ball, arrow, ender pearl, and snowball. Well, I couldn't, I didn't put it in there. Which is why I was so confused, but... The big thing is that the, the things that generally make the world go round and hold things up, no matter where you are, tend to be more than a little unglamorous. Or if you want to be funny about it, you could even say unsexy. But, because every now and then, and I saw someone talking today online about how, and wait, where did my crafting thing go? The... Crafting. Okay, it was in there. Let's put that back on. Because, and this is a story I enjoy talking about, but as you may or may not know, there was a website called GitHub, and as you can see, it's taking it straight from that chest, and here we have our glyph. Thank you. So that actually probably be simpler than throwing things, too, especially given that I don't have any real way to throw right now. It... Well, I think it's tough for me to call that nature, because the desire to maintain things to an extent is also something that's maybe not necessarily a human construction, but specifically human priorities. So, nether brick can be thrown. That nature neither cares nor doesn't care about people's sensibilities. It, and this is just me being me, but I don't particularly, I find it a little silly when people try to impute any kind of intent or feeling to nature at all. Okay, so let's turn this into, right, we got another brick there, so we can turn that into dampen. Maybe, but, there, there's always... 
And then the human desire to break new ground is not entirely a result of cultural priorities. So for AoE, which would be nice, need a fireworks star, which I don't think I have any in storage right now. But let me just look, just in case. Do I have any do not have any fireworks stars and gunpowder and then Do I need die for that? It's a bone meal. Basic fireworks star. That would be Huh. Fireworks star. It doesn't give me a recipe. That's profoundly strange. But it So what is the I'm gonna have to look this thing up. Okay, my Firefox did not open for a second. Fireworks star, it. You need. Okay. Gunpowder and die. Okay. Do I have any bone meal? That's fair. It. That is a very human sensibility. Okay, ink sac. Do I have an ink sac? I guess I can use an ink sac here. It. What do you mean about the earth being flat? Wait. Does that not count as... I turn this into... Okay, that turns into black dye. There we go. We got small fireworks star. We can go back and craft a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That... Somebody has to hold things up. And it's not necessarily fun. And it can't really be made glamorous. But it's very important work. So we got that. Okay, right. Okay, I think that's what happened. That they couldn't show a recipe for a generic fireworks star because there is no generic fireworks star. There are only various kinds of dyed fireworks stars. So I should check. Is this any different now? It seems to consume a little bit less because, like I said, every time you make a new glyph, it gives you a slight bit more mana. Main thing right now is that I can... Make ones that require... We got a bit of soul sand, cobweb, and a clock. I can make ones that don't require essences, because all the essences would take a long time to craft if I didn't have. I guess I could. If I've got source gems, I could be putting source gems in here to sort of cook while I run around. Even if I don't have source. Okay, decelerate soul sand, cobwebs, and a clock. Soul sand, cobweb, and clock. And in here I do have... It's not in there. Soul sand, cobweb, and clock. Yeah, exactly. And that... Well, that's why a lot of easy shortcut solutions aren't necessarily the best way to do things. It's easy to become reliable in things. And okay. Oh, that's... don't have that soul sand right now. So... Let's see. Gold ingot. And then... Redstone... Make that clock. That there it. Dom got really into Dune last year in advance of the movie, which was honestly a very him thing to do. It was amusing. And one of the big things about Dune is that part of the uniqueness of the setting is that it's a sci fi futuristic setting without any computers. Latasha. So where's soul sand? I need soul sand and soul stone. I need one thing of soul sand and it it's not here. This should be it, I think. Got our soul sand over here. That's soul soil. That's soul sand. So now we can go back. Okay. It's so easy. So easy like this. But and as a result, there are a lot of sort of, I, I don't know if beings or characters is the right way to say it, but yeah, futuristic with no computer. Because in the backstory of Dune, there was this big historical event known as the Butlerian Jihad, which was effectively a holy war against computers. I'm not sure they ever really explained who Butler himself or herself was. There are a lot of people who think, who are always a joke that they thought it originally referred to. Judith Butler, who is a... Okay, we can get a bit more rice. An American 
cultural scholar. I'm not sure if she's still alive, but it's a joke people make sometimes. But as I was saying, they have these people known as Mentots, who you may you may or may not know this, but before the invention of the pocket calculator is in, you know, a calculator that's a little computer, calculator was a name given to people whose job was to perform calculations. Whose job was to just be really, really good at quick mental math. Well, not necessarily mental math, but just really, really good at doing math quickly. And I could use some of my... Okay, clocks? We need a lot of clocks. Clock it in glowstone, clock it in redstone block. Once I run out of experience, I think... I mean, this is what I was saving up. Those cash-in experience rewards I can get from quests for. It's crafting a bunch of glyphs. This. A bit more gold. A bit more gold. But one of the big quotes from the setting in relation to that is the saying, Thou shall not make a, li a, a machine in the likeness of a human mind. Which in the setting is from a book known as the Orange Catholic Bible. Which itself is meant to show basically how futuristic the setting is, because as you may or may not know, the Orangists were very specifically a group of Dutch Protestants determined by their staunch anti-Catholicism. So the point of it is basically it's so long in the future that Catholics and Protestants have basically merged again. That said, it's... Religion in the setting is not really a one-to-one -one correspondence with real-world religion for a lot of reasons, but a lot of people do like Dune for being science fiction that takes religion seriously in certain senses, at least in the sense of religion is a meaningful political force. And it... A lot of people watching the movies, and again, this is just informed attributes to me because this is just things I've heard relate to me secondhand from people who have actually read the books but there are a lot of people who you know criticize the movies for having quote-unquote orientalist mindsets or sort of uncritically repeating narratives when the entire point of it is that it's criticism of the narrative that it it's just another example of people in 2024, or, well, it came out last year, so 2023, not being able to read. Okay. But I think it, it ties into a debate that people do have somewhat often, which is... You're, you're, you're turning Italian? That's really scary, actually. How are you going to survive? Propagate arc and... Oh, that's actually really funny. You need a glyph of another spell to make <laughs> that's actually really funny <laughs> you need to feed the glyph right back in so we need dirt conjure terrain could be interesting we do have that essence right now let's go and get a block of dirt two stresses and two kozus i i think that's an incredibly loaded question and that you should ask people with less to lose hmm. let's get a bit more oh we already had dirt well whatever it, my, in, in my little family, my little family, there's this joke of B.O.S. burgers, which stem from some gibberish that my sister spouted when she was really young. And the joke is just, burger without a B is just burger. Okay. I, it depends on the day and how I feel. But if I, if I ever said anything for certain, I wouldn't be able to make you run around like little rabbits anymore. And then what would I have? I have to... I have to keep you dancing on the palm of my hand. Okay, so tier one glyphs. The big thing is... So which one is... Okay, Wolovo is a fun one, but that needs... Abjuration Essence. What do I need for that? I think I need a bucket of milk. Abjuration needs. Okay, fermented spider. I got one of those. A milk bucket. Source gem and sugar. Hmm. It. As of right now, you balance each other out. It's very nice. I like it. 
I think you can content yourself in that I enjoy the presence of both of you for separate but connected reasons. And that's all I'll say about that. Okay, so there's a cow. Multiple places where I can get cows. Let me see. Uh, bucket, bucket, bucket. Bucket of milk, fermented spider eye for... I got two. Okay. It... There's a reason I studied politics. And... Oh, he's right here. Hello. I came to milk your cow. To milk your cow. So if he doesn't say anything, and even if he does, I'm milking his cow. There were other cows I also could have milked, but I'm milking this one. Quest completed. Milk cow. Okay, time to go home. He milked the cow. Alright, there we go. Wait, did I... I messed that up somehow. Oh, well, I guess... He knows... He, he could maybe know how far away I am from his base now. It... I, I'm gonna have to... I feel like I might have to make a no-putting-yourself-down rule or something. Just... No negative self-talk. It's, it's, for, it's for the own. It's, it's for the good of all of you collectively. I care sometimes, sometimes. Okay. It. That's frightening. It. What I'll say is, there's nothing necessarily shameful about. Not necessarily being all that good about taking compliments, but Spark. Ooh, and Sean likes more damage to wet entities and that that lap tripped blue wool iron bars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Need some abjuration essence for that, so I'll let that go, go, go. Use that to make some pink. But having free dye on a spell is actually really useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it... Well, it's, you know, you would know. You're a mom friend. If anyone if anyone gets to decide who gets to be a dad friend, you'd think it'd be a mom friend, right? Picking up trash. Well, it's it's not taking out... Well, if you're... Are you throwing stuff away, too? Or are you just... Rearranging things? That's my question. So, how am I going to... My question is... Oh, that other source jar down there, I might be able to take that up and use it to peel stuff. It's 88% full. There are some things I could take down now, maybe. The sugar cane grows fast, it feels that, it seems, which is really, really nice. Okay. Now this, I want to farm source by just growing things passively. Sugar cane might be really good, specifically. A bowl. Send it to the server. So I could see it too. It. I think that'd be alright. So this is at 90. It's taking longer to fill it than I might like it, though, to be fair. It has to balance itself that way. Rearranging. I don't, oh, nice! I don't, no problem, no problem. It. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you have to throw stuff away. It can be nice to just have lots of stuff so in case you ever need them all. It. Mm. Also, butt stuff. If you have any interest, feel free to join the server. I'm not e demonetized. How? To get demonetized, that would first be have to be monetized. So, you'll be waiting some time. Yeah. It. I think depending on how things go, I might actually do. I might use the new model tomorrow, actually. It, I thought about using it tonight, just... Just shadow dropping it, basically, and just kind of thought, you know... I did not end up having the time to play around with it and figure out how best to use it. But... Just things. So let's put that in there and make... Another one of those arc projectile ones. Oh, right, I need to make... Use some of my quests to give myself more experience. It... Who isn't up at... 2am these days. So that does not give me all that much, but use this to just pick up more experience. Translations. Ooh, that was a good amount. Decent amount. Hmm. Any bottles? No. 
Fair. Got, got what? What what do you even mean by that? What what did you get on your I I live in fear. Okay. It it There is no way. No way in hell that you were not deliberately attempting to get me in that kind of situation. It you think, you think you're so sneaky. You think you're so sneaky. I just... I, I, I swear. It's impossible sometimes. But now we got a 100% full source jar, and we can just slap this down to turbocharge creation of essences and source gems. It... I... I swear. You just... You think you can get away with every little thing. It's people like you. Okay. So to make another essence, and which one do I need for the next? That was abjuration. Is it conjuration I need? It, and, and whose fault is that? And whose fault is that? Permanently hide the spell. Oh. Now that's exciting. That could be interesting, maybe. Trick someone to casting something that blows them up. Now it... They're probably holding the phone in their mouth. It wouldn't surprise me at this point. They're basically a small animal. Manipulation. Well, if you do... Oh, I'll, I'll send the worms to pick you up or something. Don't worry. It... Yeah, yeah, don't... I would recommend on not watching things while you're actively in a tree. Mm -hmm. So, button, a clock. How many stone in here right now? We have a decent amount of stone. Make redstone, one more of those, and to make a clock. I need to make a lot of clocks. Ars Nouveau is, in a real sense, the, the gold mod. The mod that just requires a lot of gold. Make another essence and put stuff back in. It... Yeah, why, why are you... Why are you in a tree? Okay, it... Jumped. It... That, that isn't all that much better. I just... I swear sometimes. Okay, but to make an air essence... It's got most of these. I need to make... That one's over there. Arrow, feather, and a wild and wing. There is an open roof, but it really just... I, I, I fear for you. I constantly fear for you. Every time something happens, every time you do something, I just hope that this isn't the time you just kick it. I don't know. It's scary. And, okay, arrow, wild and wing, and a feather, and I have a decent amount to make essence, conjuration essence, conjuration essence, home sweet home, and that's fang, book, and starbuncle, home magic, starbuncle, burning down a, well, there was that time something caught fire nearby you, right? Don't. Don't risk it, please. Then... A book. So we got everything we need for essences now, and a source jar. That's good. Oh, we fall off roofs? It... Okay. Have you considered a career in roofing? I'm not even joking. If you're, if you're willing to get up on roofs and climb things, it can be a decent career path. Let's put this back in there. Spider eye. I think we need to make a conjuration essence now. Maybe. What what do you what what do you even mean by that? I Is K Kona now a racist term? I'm kind of worried. Now it 
Okay. Manipulation essence. Manipulation essence. It... Some Somehow I don't think... Somehow I don't think that was the entire story there. Somehow, somehow I have a hard time believing that that was the motivation at hand. Okay. Uh, it, it can be. But I, th I think the situation is different when someone is actively climbing trees and falling out of them. It... The situation here is... Suitably different. It... America is an interesting place. For better or worse. Okay. Question is, how much more experience can I get from here? Prop gate arc. Split, can't get that yet. Luck, I need a rabbit split. How am I going to get that? Pierce. Cut. Hmm. Damages for a small amount. It... There are a lot of tier 1 glyphs. The more I craft, the better. That... Okay, this is... This would be nice. Ignite plus Flare is a very good source of damage. But actually... If there's anything I really go for, it should probably be Freeze. So a Water Essence combined with... I could just try making a bunch of Essences right now if I really wanted to. It's okay. It... As long as you have a good attitude about it. That's the important thing. Not kelp, we got- no, not the sorcerer, we gotta put in the snow block. It's essences that I really need to make right now. But for the snow block, I need to get more snowballs from the other part right over there. Okay, that won't take that long to make. It- If you want to go sleep, feel free to sleep. I'm not going to be the one who holds you back. Hmm. Get some snowballs. We need a couple of snowballs for that. The question is, what do I need for cold snap? That's fair. It. If you don't feel sleepy, there's not much of a reason to force yourself. Okay, but I need a powder snow bucket in order to an ice. And I don't know where I could find some powder snow. Okay, take your time. It. If you don't have the energy to talk, do not feel pressured to talk. It- I would hate to be that person. He left the game? Oh no, he's gone forever. This is so sad. I'm gonna start crying. Okay, so freeze it. Oh right, what I really, really need is... I need to make Dispel. You haven't slept in two days more? That- What? That's crazy. Get- get on that. Well, if you can, it... I just... It- it frightens me sometimes what people will go through and put up with just out of a feeling of having to do it. It... Well, it... As long as you're alright, as long as you're okay, that's the important thing. So my question is, how do I want to, what do I need? Abjuration needs bucket. I don't have buckets left. I need more iron to, well, I've got a lot of iron. That's true. Okay, well, as long as you're surviving, hopefully we'll be able to move past merely surviving eventually. Lava. Maybe, maybe Mad Cargo, actually. What's Mad Cargo's sleep schedule like? Come on, and... Mm, seven buckets should be okay. Go milk Jack's cows again. But I... Uh, main thing is, I needed more... Glyphs, so that I could... That is meaningfully less. And I think I will go and milk his cows again. Who is Mac Buddy? Is that like mac and cheese or McDonald's or something? Okay, we muck the cow again. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Huh? Whose name did he just joke about? I 
I'm slightly confused. Okay, and big thing is... Did this make a... Oh, that didn't make an essence at all. I was stupid about my timing. Okay, so that's another fast craft. Oh, oh! Mag body. Okay, I thought you said mag body. Right, we can actually make that right now. We need spell, and I don't have enough experience right now. Let's go and consume some stuff from quests. Just to get enough. There we go. Okay, so now we can make Dispel. This one is really, really useful. It's three buckets of milk. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. It... I'm sorry. I... I, I don't want to discriminate against Italians. Okay. So the question is, how many more essences do we need? Because everything else is mostly going to be... Making... Making items beyond that. But there really is a lot of stuff here. It Harvest is decent, but that's actually base methodology. I, how many dumbs would happen is... I heard something. Has somebody found me? Somebody found me, I swear. It... But what if I wanted to be nice to you? What if I wanted to leave some things instead, instead of being cruel for no reason? Well, I heard something that sounded like fireworks, but I don't know. Throwing away your only weapon is not a good idea, you'd think. Okay, well, we can go back to Stronghold now that I've gotten a decent amount more mana capacity and regeneration, because part of the reason I was crafting so many glyphs was to try to buff up my mana bar a little. Oh, that's right, what I should do actually is make... I need to get involved with, and you're going to hate hearing this, I need to make, get involved with a fate mod. Two diamond with an attuner and a diamond, and this was an okay amount. Lapis and gold, and then a diamond. That's not much. I can make that right now, basically. First, I'm going to get stuff from there. Mm -hmm. The big thing is that, among other things, the fate mod lets you shoot out. It... I would ask you what I would have to do to get you to give up this strange vendetta. But what you would you would what you would say, and I'm sure of it, is you would say, you have to stop insulting fairy tale, and I would sooner die than stop insulting fairy tale. So we've reached an impasse. This is never going to resolve. We're just gonna continue on about we're gonna continue on like this forever. It's not gonna stop. Okay. But we can get a few more cobwebs, get some bookshelves around this area. I got that deep slate, and yeah, we have meaning for we more mana capacity, which makes this significantly better to break down. Mm, it, it's better, but not crazy. Hmm. Could anything in here? It iron pick is all right. Hmm. Yeah, but you see, it consumes less and regens a lot faster. So, in other words, you will yourself into hating something because somebody mistakenly assumed that you would hate it, and now you actually hate it. That... I'm not sure what I think about that. It... It seems like a lot of effort expended for... Very little payoff. It... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? It... Okay. It... And you have said in the past, right, that whining is an Italian cultural tradition. And that if I tried to criticize you for whining or get you to stop whining, that it would consult... It would... Compose the most flagrant kind of bigotry. Is that right? Yeah, that whining is such just an important part of Italian tradition. It's crucial. Isn't that right? Isn't that what you said? I think you've said that, it, that whining is an Italian trait. I'm not sure you've said that criticizing your whining is akin to bigotry, but 
Okay, so now now you're agreeing with my you're agreeing with my reading of your statement. So I feel pretty comfortable letting that one sit. Sadly. Okay, so we only got a few more shelves, and now we just got this going. We can loot this entire library. It'd be nice if it drops some enchanted books, but that's deep slate fluorite ore. Hmm. What do you mean by only the whining part? Are you trying to imply that Italy's only meaningful tradition is whining? It. It. Somehow that, that seems like an incredibly loaded statement. It feels like you're trying to say the same thing with a bit more plausible deniability. I don't think I like that. I think... I feel like I need to find and impose some penalty for your bad behavior. I don't know what I could do to punish you. I need to figure something out. Yeah, but these bookshelves... It'll be a while until I really want to do Pothios and enchanting stuff. I would need a good way to get experience first. Hmm. It does make it kind of sad that there's nothing in here to really fight right now. Okay, but how much for a flare rune? I'm not using the Fate mod yet. What do you mean by that? I need more Blaze Rods. Poi Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, oh, then that's what I'm doing to punish you using the Fate mod. I guess. It's one way to say it. So I guess that's what I'll do. Okay, so we need to make an Attuner. Okay, Coal should be good for now. Let's put that in. So the tuner needs lapis, which we have a good amount of, and then gold, which we also have a good amount of. That in there, but that in there we need one measly diamond to make an attuned diamond. We have a good amount. Oh, we could actually make the tree fell spell too by making another diamond axis to throw away. Hmm. It I was not aware that you were a Yu-Gi-Oh hater too. I feel like it would be easier to easier to figure out the things that you don't have some sort of deep hated resentment for. It What's it like living like that? Motivated by hatred. It Really? Really now. Interesting. Actually, I can't use that yet because I don't even have any magic. Right. Okay. Well, Two sticks will do it. We can make our tree fill spell. We are going to make another diamond axe. Just to throw away. For essence. I wonder if I could use the silent gear one. It'd be interesting to try that. But I don't think I'd be able to. Let's put this back and sub in the earth essence stuff. Make some of that. Okay. Earth essence takes seeds. Dirt and an iron ingot. And then put in a source gem. Thank you. And there's an earth essence right there. Fair. It. Even Pokemon? That takes purple dye, which. Huh. Dye essence, red dye, and blue dye. Do I have anything red? Oh, I could use my source berries for that, so that's actually very convenient. So gold. I find it funny that needs that needs purple. Okay, let's put the silent gear in just to see. Variable, lustrous, flexible. Left control. Efficiency, construction, and left alt. That diamond and wooden tool rod. Fair. You don't want to do Pokemon or you don't want to hate Pokemon? I need, how much do I need to make that tree fell? Fell. With three levels for that, so. Take that, sophisticated backpacks, common reward. The backpack overall. Overall. That should put me at three, so let's just do that real quick. Make that tree fell spell and. And did it take. It did not take that axe, it only takes vanilla diamond axes. 
Interesting. Okay. Why do you, why do you get nom flashbacks from seeing silver from Pokemon? That that's interesting to me. Locked fell. There we go. Okay. So to make I need to make a blood circle. Source berry. Got a good amount, so we can afford to turn two of those into dye. And a stick and gold and stick. Then two iron and two gold. Yeah. Where my gold ingots? Get right there. Okay. What garnet? Hmm. Like this. It's an iron core, I think. And then, oh, right, I need to make die first. Okay. Like this, it's yep, an iron core, gold over here, and then we have to draw our blood in order to make this happen. All right, cool. Well, it, biggest kin, and I assume the kin of someone you hate. Okay, so I guess blood circle can go right here. Then, ooh, and then, can I, I need to press actually. Oh, I'm bleeding. Options, controls, keybinds, category, Mahotsukai. Mahotsukai. Draw the Mahojin. I. Hmm, selective displacement, change mystic code. That. Hmm. Armor mode switch. It. Keypad 2 is fine for now. Only want bleeding. And there we go. Now we actually have Maho. Cool. Literally drew a circle on the floor. You're qualified. Now what we can do is use this attuned dot. Oh, I actually already had something. Just couldn't see the meter yet. Okay. So the big thing is when you cast spells, basically when you consume your mana or that Maho, which is my third mana bar now, next to Ars Nouveau mana and Spells and Spellbooks mana, you can store your mana in this gemstone for later use. Yeah. And basically what that means is... If I cast a spell that would take more maho, which literally just means magic in Japanese, than I currently have, I can just use the stuff stored in the diamond, it'll take that for me instead. Yeah. This just exists to proc bleed on demand. That's all. Hmm. The main thing is... Your... Maho can go all the way up to... 200,000 maximum, which is... 2,000 times my base capacity. It's gonna be a long time going. A real long term goal, but... In the end... In the end, it's going to be useful because there's a spell that deals... Called, Ga called the Gander spell. Which, if you're familiar with the character of Reen Tosaka, that's basically her signature attack, and it shoots this magic bullet that... In this mod pack, the way it works is it takes any negative potion effects that you might currently have on you, removes them from you, and creates a cloud on projectile impact that applies those spells in addition to just doing damage when the projectile itself hits someone. And it consumes 1% of your maximum maho and deals damage at base equivalent to what it consumed to that 1% how much maho it consumed, which means that at max capacity it takes 2,000 maho, deals 2,000 damage, aka 1,000 hearts of damage just at base for free. Well, not for free, but for a pittance of your maho. It's actually crazy. But you have to have a really, really high capacity to get that, and it's not exactly easy. Yeah, almost free, but I have to be constantly cycling through. Basically cycling my Maho by using this diamond, and I... The big thing is... Attuning is nice, but once I hit max capacity, which will take a while... It's going to take a bit to actually... It's hard to fill that thing. 
Well, then it's hard to... I'm not sure I'd be able to unfill it in any other way than just casting really, really high capacity, really high Maho consumption spells, which, you know, I'll have a reason to do eventually, but it, it is what it is, you know? I need to find something I could cast without it being a total waste or without just blowing stuff up around my base. But to be fair, at that point, once I had something I could cast, it would probably itself be a better way to take things down. Alright, cool, and very, very dead. Thank you. So what I should do first is go about lighting up everything in here. Because Dom and Jack have been through here before, but they very obviously did not bother lighting things up. Or if they did, they unlit things to cover up their tracks or otherwise make it tougher for people to be there. And oh, a bloodstain from Evilcraft. I wonder if that was one of them who left that behind, because... Well, to be fair, that's any bloodstain is going to give it. Well, anything can give an evil craft bloodstain, even if they aren't using the mod. But Dom specifically has been using evil craft. Apparently, he's almost done with everything in it. And he said he might be moving on to tech mods relatively soon. We'll see how that works out for him. It. The big thing is that he's been avoiding using anything Ars Nouveau. And to my, in my opinion, that is significantly to his detriment. Just because a lot of the really good Ars Nouveau spells were the spells that we didn't even have access to when we played Dawncraft. So he's just not really going to get a chance to experience them at their most useful. Because Break and Conjure Mage Block, which are just free, basically a free infinite durability pickaxe, well... Depending on your mana capacity and a free. What if my piglins refined glowstone armor? That's interesting. Okay, let's put that back in and continue lighting this place up. Clearly, something is still spawning here. I don't like that. This was. N this is anything. It's not much. It oh my goodness, this place just keeps going. I. Dom and I did not explore the stronghold we went to all that thoroughly, but this seems pretty big. Oh, that crying obsidian, I'm going to need that for some mods eventually. Interesting. This is some kind of portal room. I thought this might be an entire separate wing. It was only a room that was a bit lowered with presumably some good loot, but I forget what mod I needed it for specifically, but there was some mod that I needed Crying Obsidian for. Don't remember what it was. I- okay, hello. Oh, goodness. Skeleton with a sword. That doesn't happen every day. But you- <sighs> The big thing is, is that Essence of Undeath is a rare drop from Undead that gets added by the Coril Tombstone mod. And every time I've gotten a possible upgrade, because Coril Tombstone has a skill tree that you get from increasing your knowledge of death by dying or killing things. Every time I've had an opportunity to upgrade, I've upgraded drop chance of rare drops. But I've never gotten a single essence of undeath. Gotten a lot of grave soil from it, which is another thing that comes from it, but nothing in terms of Nothing in terms of Essence of Undeath, which is very strange to me. And there's somebody back there behind their eye. Is that guy behind that portal? It seems like it. The main thing is, I know that they got to the end. They went there and killed the Ender Dragon, and is this the portal room? I think this is the portal room. Yep, and they even put a checkpoint down. And portal, I... I could be mean real quick. Let's be mean. Just in case. Let's screw with them a little. Put this back down. Just call it the same thing. But if they try to teleport back here, well, they're going to be... They won't have it on there because I broke and replaced it. But I've got plausible deniability too. So I'm going to want to go in there. It... It's... I've got to do what I've got to do. If I'm going to be a villain... Eh, 
And to be fair, to be fair, given that this is Ars Nouveau and nobody else uses Ars Nouveau, they'd be able to figure things out, but it's... Unless they figure out that what I did was break and replace things, which they might not. I mean, it's just a question of what are they going to do to me. Even if they get mad. It, the main thing is that even though there is, in theory, hard and fast, no destructive griefing rule, it... And this is going to make me sound like a bad guy, because I am a bad guy. They don't have any kind of server logs that they would be able to use to basically figure out for sure who did what, where, and when. So if I really wanted to, at least right now, and I did tell him, though he probably knows, that the reason why... It wouldn't take an idiot, it wouldn't take a genius to deduce that the reason I would want to know... The reason I would want him to tell me if he figured out some way to you know, have logs would be, oh, if I want to grief someone, I want to know that I'm not going to get caught, but... Oh, so behind that door, there might be stuff in the library. It... It's not happening. I'm safe. <laughs> okay, and another library in here. Does this lead to anything, or... Hmm. Come on, come on. I should try to take some of this down. I hear something shambling, but... Another spider spawner. I could try tossing some more light sources up there, but it sounds like it's spiders here right now. I... Uh, where are they? Who is where? Oh, hello there. Hi. Magic missile. Magic missile. Oh, magic missile. And now you're dead. Okay. But the big thing is... is I don't think they would be willing to go through all that effort of combing through hours of streams, hours of listening to me yap. They get enough of that already. That's a red shimmering mushroom. So I think it should all be lit up now. What I do remember was there was that one room with something behind that one portal, and I think first I should put some of this stuff away. It, to me, them or both? Probably both. Either way, that magic missile right now is probably my best method of engaging in combat. I could, if I went and killed a few more blazes, then I should just do that now. I could go and get... Did I put my... I did put my beef in there, that's right. I could get a spell that allows me to do really, really good damage to most things. So I don't need torches anymore, that's right. Called Flare. It's basically a setup spell where... If something's on fire, you cast Flare on it. It takes a big burst of damage. And that's generally one of the best ways to deal damage in the mod, because there are a number of very strong Tier 3 glyphs for dealing damage, but that's locked behind killing. Both the Wither, which is especially tough in this mod back, because it got some buffs, and also killing the Wilden Chimera, which is this mod pack's unique boss. Which means that I'll get them eventually, but by the point I get them, it would probably be... It... I love. I love the sound of my own voice. But I'm not going to pretend that everyone does. It... I'm like coffee. I'm an acquired taste. That not everyone acquires. Hmm. So we should find that room again. Okay, because there was somebody past there. Right... Yeah, I hear what seems to be an illager behind that portal, maybe. If they're just around their eye. What is Melody? Interesting. Put another torch spell down and... Yep, there was a room with a boss in it. Hello. Hi. Oh, alright. Wait. I Oh my, oh my goodness. I Okay. Huh. Let's just keep on shooting. You are weirdly hard to. Hmm, well, at least don't take that much. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. I should have gotten a snare spell there. I Oh my goodness. Come on, can I? We need to run home. We need to run home. Home and what the hell? Okay. That I wasn't I wasn't fast enough. Okay. Well, the big thing is I pressed the wrong thing. Press the wrong thing. And I... Okay, cool. One of your actions cancel the ghostly shape effect. And why can't I interact with my... 
can't I? Okay, there we go. Okay, and thank you. I, all right. Can I? Oh, please. I, what? What? Oh, come on. Why do I keep missing? I, okay. I should try to get up top here then, where they can't reach me. There we are. Okay. Yep, they actually can't do anything to me now. It, it was that easy. I was just stupid. Okay. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Yep, all I had to do was get too high and start shooting at them. Alright. And let's go for our mana arrow and... Oh, they knew to dodge that? That's scary. There we are. Okay. We can get rid of that death checkpoint. Okay, cool. So the big thing is that they weren't just in a cave. They were actually in a room behind things. Which means... Ah, this place is pretty labyrinthine, actually. Once I find them... Need to find that room again real quick, and then I can get whatever was behind there, which should be some decent treasure. But it's very, very good that I have 30 base hearts now. Because they were pretty painful even with that. But, so I found out just today that apparently in the closing ceremony for the Paris Olympics... They had the band Phoenix perform a cover of the song Night Call, which, among other things, is from the movie Drive with Ryan Gosling, which is why it's kind of a meme. It... You might have heard about... Because... Why can't I eat this beef? Okay, come on. But I like the band Phoenix. I'm not really a Ryan Gosling guy, but... One of my other friends is a Phoenix guy, too, and I was just sort of... I sent him a link to the video of it, and I, was, I just said, Huge day for incredibly annoying people, which is both of us. And for people who know, which would just be our Italian friend, that was Andrew, the guy I was on Bloodborne with that one time. He also likes Phoenix. But it, oh, and right, we need more light in here. So what is our reward for taking all that garbage down? And this is... Oh, a name tag oak skin. Pressure tube. It's not all that crazy. Put this stone brick stuff away. And right, Magnificent Mansion, I do need to actually do some stuff with that. Hmm. What is sad is that I can't just hold down right click to put a bunch of stuff in. That would be really convenient. There's also a spell we can use to mimic the effects of a name tag. At least in terms of naming things, it doesn't actually work on. If you have to throw a name tag down onto something, which is... In the Fate mod, sometimes you actually need to act for the worm cursing. You need to throw a name tag down onto sort of scrying stuff. So that does not entirely work, but in terms of just naming things, it does help. Oh, a box of eternal closure with a vengeance spirit. Interesting. That could be useful for people named Dom, maybe. But I would. I'll be dead in the cold, hard ground before I willingly offer him assistance. Cannot afford to help that man. Okay. That's our stuff. We gotta figure out which way I came from. This is, and it's... Of course there are a bunch of barrels here, too. It, it's fun how much treasure there is, but sometimes it... Be a bit much. Okay, backpack. I could probably afford to do a good deal of tyrannical current HP damage, but that's chipped. Heavy weapons like axes, you can use that to do HP percentile damage, which makes axes good boss killers. Also, eventually, I'm going to need. Once I get more diamonds, I can upgrade the backpacks further too. Echoing Strikes. That one's actually very, very good. Oh, Compressed Iron Helmet. That, that's good for me. So now we got that, and I can, I'll just toss that. Oh, hold on to it, because it is silent gear. I might be able to get some use out of it. That is now full. Hmm. 
wonder if we'll be able to get everything in this room of note. That exposed copper sword, I don't need that. Isn't useful for anything. The axe is not good. Then emerald and ingots. I mean emerald and nuggets. Base organization. Oh nice, so how's that going? So what are the factions on the server like? That's my question. Does anyone have any kind of big evil plot right now or any kind of significant long-term goal? Kona Cold. Oh, that's literally from D&D. That's fun. Iron exposed copper and I can go back. And, what was that sound? What just... Huh? Used to be, So it used to be cooperative. And now, what is the... I'm worried. Oh, that might be the Man of Steel, actually. Might be the Man of Steel. Huh? I... Why is it making fairy noises? I'm not sure I like this. Tablet of Gar, that's just a worse summon wolf. Hmm. Retaliation for... Oh, we got a diamond, that's good. We don't have all that many, though. Should take these anvils, actually. This will be useful. That's a good mine. I don't have fortune yet, so I think what I actually want to do is... Mind them as ore blocks. Yeah. Base now has holes in it. Oh, we got assistance engravable. Oh, that's evil. Oh, and that's how you teleport to someone and figure out where their base is. That's incredible. I'm excited. That's going to be... That's how I'm going to find Dom. Uh huh. Okay. Now I'm excited. Now I'm motivated. Could use that to find his base. Mm hmm. So I probably want to do that while having true invisibility and then just dip. That's gonna be something. Gotta make sure I'm on when he's on. That he does not see me. Okay. Got our ores in there, which we can take. I think fortune for that emerald ore is going to be useful. I think it'd be a good idea to go back to base right now and put that stuff away. Either way, it... I'm in a decent position to maybe upgrade some of the storage capacity. Got a crazy amount of coal. Don't need to worry about using this to access my storage system, but... Who's on right now? It's... It's this Jake and Jack. Hmm. But it... We now have the capability to... As long as Dom is on... Can figure out... Depending on whether he's in his base or not. And that's my question. How I'd be able to figure out a time... Figure out a way to make sure he's in his base when I want to go to him. Hmm. It... It'll be interesting. Hmm. So once I can guarantee he's in his base, I can find his base. But I would need to guarantee he was in there, otherwise it would be kind of fruitless. Uh, kind of cold. Because as of right now, he is... I wouldn't say th threat, but he's definitely my biggest competitor. To be fair, I could... Go somewhere. Could try going to his base real quick. Well, his old base, because this is not his real base. He is my op. Which makes it all the funnier that he was the guy who I went on. Okay, there was a Blue Skies portal around here. What I honestly should do is just make a waypoint here. So I can teleport here without a warp stone, because they actually don't know about that. Surtis cluster is good. I'll take that. If I use this, will it... Ah, oh, it just gives the cluster. Okay. I don't have any Surtis quartz, but I'll need it eventually. So, that's nice. 
I guess I could come back here to farm the Sword of Scorts from here. The issue is it doesn't stay loaded, which means... There's also a house around this area. I forget where it was specifically, but there's a house around here that had a... Should be a fat one that had a portal to the Blue Skies dimension, which might actually be where his base is. I'm not quite sure. But I did a Dawncraft playthrough with Dom a while back, earlier this year. Where it was just the two of us, so we were team members. As you can see, I just have this just free Elytra Flight spell, which is very, very nice to have. Also, two jump height, which is probably even nicer, but... Was it up here? It was, it was not up here. So where was that Blue Skies portal? It, I guess I could take that, but... Was it in there, or... Yeah, it's in here. Okay. Let's go inside and see if this gives me any new information about him. Oh? Oh? Hmm. A blue journal from the gatekeeper. Could I craft that in any way? You cannot craft it, they sell it. Okay. Music here is pretty loud, I will say. I... Wait, wait. Oh, flood is disabled? Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I... find that interesting. It's gonna make it a lot harder, too. And, of course, there is a crab just trying to get me, which means... Just hop over here slowly and shoot at him. Okay. Hey, where'd the crab go? Okay. Come on. Come on. Hmm. There you are. Okay. How much health does this thing have? I. Come on. Die crab. Oh, it's going away now. Okay. So we managed to kill the crab, but it. Does not seem to have dropped anything of particular note. Mm -hmm. What I should do is just set a teleport point here in this ever bright dimension. I think. Yeah, ever bright, ever bright. Also, ever dawn, which is more orangey. And what are you? I. Oh, armored frost spirit. Interesting, and. Well, that's cool, it just shatters. It doesn't have normal damage animations. It just sort of has a particle effect and then it shatters. It's a bit like the Crystallians from Elden Ring, actually, which themselves were based off of. How did that hit me? Oh, a polar geist. That's fun. It's dead now, which means we. Soul Fragment, Armored Frost Spirit Charm Fragment. Hmm. I should set a teleport point somewhere in here. It, somewhere not too obvious in case someone figures out I've been here and then blows the stuff up. A Warding Pearl. Hmm. Might not be able to teleport, but we still have increased jump height. Calming skies, polar highland, pe deep pe peaking ocean, deep peaking ocean, midday shore. This is snow covered pines. My question actually is would I be able to get a snow bucket from there? That might be an interesting place to look. Okay, so just saying something up here flawless crystals make blue sky. Ever bright village. That's what I'll call it. Turn it off and then. Well, it. I guess the chords are known now. I do need to cover that up. Brewberry, blue bright. Big thing is. I can go back home now. Nothing's in there, so I guess it's just. Back to the stronghold. But I don't get the impression that his base is in. The ever bright. Which means that. Why do I keep getting tossed around like that? 
Don't tell me this because I teleported too fast. By the way, that's nice to have. I think out here is right. Now we can go around and just loot the remainder of the bottom floor. And then go inside the portal. We'll start from the closest corner and then go counterclockwise, I think. Should be a decent way to do it. Should be fine by me. There's a lot of loot in here and also a good number of bookshelves that I'll be able to just cut up with silk touch. Mm -hmm. I think over there it my worry is just missing stuff. I don't really have a map even if and how do I switch layer? Let me see. That's the layer map. Oh this is actually Okay they do give me that layer map. This is actually very very useful. It this will be kind of important to me then. I feel like an idiot for not making better use of that beforehand, but okay. Library is over here. The two sort of quasi-portal rooms were here. And portals over this way, so shouldn't be too complicated, but use this to figure out where we've been and where we still need to go. Be funny to break the lanterns, though there'd be less than zero purpose to it. Mm -hmm. Just gotta make sure we know where the treasure rooms are. The big thing to me is that it the doorways don't really have special notation, it seems. It is always interesting what choices are made in map mods like this, but that's a pressure... Eh, if we need a pressure plate for something, I can just always make another. No reason to be too antsy about that. But yeah, getting more Maho is a slow and painstaking process, mostly about taking a Toon Gemstone, which would be either a diamond or an emerald, and just... All your magic in. Okay, it seems that about half of the space of corridors down here, maybe not of rooms, but of corridors, is just locked up in this one area. I eh, crossbow and all that good, but the big question is how I'm going to make these scrolls for myself eventually. Because that one teleport to another player scroll is really, really nice, but I need a way to make it myself if I want it to be reliable. Because otherwise, I've got exactly one chance to find Dom. And first of all, I would really, really want some way to get true invisibility if and when I do that. Well, when I do that, because it's definitely happening. Definitely going to try to teleport to you. But actually, I guess the question is... Necromancy gem for summons. It's cool how that works with apotheosis. But I... I don't need this. Head chance. So the ender is yeah, it's just for getting mob heads. Warp scroll is good, but it's not everything. It... Voodoo Pop at certain types of death. 50% chance to trigger. That. Voodoo Poppets were a pretty big feature in a mod called. We have Siphoning Wildfire, that's okay. Insight. Yeah. Called The Witchery, which is a really famous Minecraft magic mod from 1.7.10. And people have tried numerous times to make successors, but it's tough to make things that are as good. Had a lot of effects that had vampire and werewolf transformations that you could only choose one or one of the two of them, if I recall correctly. You know, vampire werewolf rivalry. Twilight was somewhat new around that time. I I need to do a Some years ago I found out that the song Supermassive Black Hole by Muse was on the Sound of Glass. On the soundtrack for I believe the second Twilight mu movie, and that you know, don't kill me for this, that someone made an edit of Kaya from Genshin with that song in the background, so a lot of people knew that as the Kaya edit song. That could be... I guess I could wear that mana ring, just for the sake of it. No real reason not to. As a ring, it doesn't fit in there, because there are multiple kinds of ring slots for some godforsaken reason, but... Wear this for more mana. There we go, okay, cool. But that people knew it as the Kaya edit song, and I, I've thought about doing... I have so many of these cannons. I don't need more. Don't need that either. Do I cover it because it was the Kaya edit song? Also just a song I really, really like because... I had a pretty big muse phase some years ago, back in high school. It... They're a very, very interesting band. Because 
And they fall into the category of bands, and this is a meaningfully common thing. It's not as if it makes them all that special. Of bands who are around way too long for the sake of their own legacy. That they have a lot of really, really good earlier work. And it either they started coasting or they ran out of ideas, but the stuff they did later just can't shape up. And it pains me to say this, though to be fair, I think I, I think to a certain extent Metallica kind of consigned themselves to being a sort of ACDC in that they can't really innovate anymore, but they can try to semi-successfully ape their earlier work and make things that are good enough pastiches for people who like the old stuff but want new music, quote-unquote. And it's not going to be amazing, and it's not going to be as good, but it's not going to be horrible. And people who care about that kind of thing will get what they want, more or less. But for Muse, it... <sighs> the frontman of Muse, Matt Bellamy, who for a while was actually married to Kate Hudson, which is really, really funny to think about. You know, even though Muse was very popular, they were always sort of a... They styled themselves as sort of a geek band, you know? And I don't know, it's just... They, they were talented and even a little cool at times. But I would never, ever, ever describe Muse as glamorous. And to be totally honest, as a dorky high schooler, that was kind of part of why I liked them. But they were pretentious over the top. Probably thought a bit more highly of themselves than they really had a right to. But their music was good. And it was... And to be fair, I think... Matt Bellamy's vocal style, if you've ever heard him sing, is... I think whiny might... Whiny is probably right. Because it's not as if he is... You couldn't really compare him to, say, sort of a Green Day type thing, where... He's very, very nasally, because he's not nasally. But when you listen to a Muse song, one thing that stands out to you is that... That will stand out to you if you know to look for it is... There are a lot of... Instances of very, very loud breaths. That he breathes very, very close to the mic. And he does... He doesn't really have a nasally tone of voice, but he does have... A somewhat whiny tone of voice, which... He probably does play up a little for the sake of the impression he wants to give off and the kind of songs he likes to make. But it does have a bit of a whiny tone. It's 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 sensitive boy music. I wouldn't call it min male manipulator music, but I think it is in sort of a cultural sphere, I suppose. Piercing 9? Why does Piercing 9 exist? It, if they had given me sharpness, I would have been happy. It's the only way you can get Sharpness 9, but if I want to get Sharpness 9, I'm going to need to find more. I need to find more strongholds. That is maybe painful. Magic Beans! Jack and the Beanstalk reference. It's a deep cut. I feel like a kid again. I feel like calling Jack and the Beanstalk a deep cut should be punishable, punishable by some kind of death. I feel like I just committed some sort of incredibly bizarre crime. Micro-missiles. hand launch projectiles restored with TNT in an anvil. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Nematocraft, sneak right quick, and target filter in that. Damage, turn speed, top speed. Smart, dumb. Seek out balance between, very fast, and deal high damage. That could be a very, very fun projectile to hold on to. We'll see what happens. Well, I, I do have magic missiles, though. Hmm. It's hard to say. I that crossbow is not something I particularly need. That, oh, that's full. Got in the library, now that thing's full, so... Once I'm through this library, I should probably try to. It got all of these cobwebs, all those bookshelves, and oh, the oh, that's fun. The pots can fall down; they're affected by gravity, and they fall 
I think I need them thawing me, so I'm not sure whether it'll do the damage or not, but... Cobwebs are kind of annoying to get, so I'll just pick up a bunch right now while I have the opportunity, and... I could wait to get these bookshelves, but at the very same time, it... I don't really have a compelling reason right now. I can come back later, I already have a bunch. When I really want to make a good apotheosis setup. Because I do know how to make... A setup that maxes every enchanting stat. The thing about it is that it just needs... Four dragon heads. And you might be able to get that cheaper with... Other methods. If I go for other bookshelf setups, but it's complicated. It's a whole thing. So this is going to lead to the portal. I wonder if there are any chests along the way. It's This place is big. It's not small. Let me just look around to make sure I didn't miss any chests in here. So there's nothing up here, but... Yeah, so this is just probably the sort of quote-unquote intended entrance. Or intended entrance, not in the sense of the way you're supposed to get into the stronghold, but what you're supposed to take as the entrance option. And you know what? You know what? I don't care anymore. Let's just jump into the end. I want to see what's on the other side. The answer is going to be not a dragon, but... Where is he? Oh, wait, did it spawn? Oh, okay, so that's the corridor they dug. It... No reason not to take that crying obsidian. Oh, that's right, I... If I... Diamond, diamond pickaxe. That does just give that crying obsidian who is cutting onions obtain crying obsidian. Hop up here and see. I know that some of the endermen in the end of this mod pack are innately hostile. Oh, this is really cool. I Oh my goodness, you're... Come on, how are you dodging my projectiles? I swear to... Oh, what? What? That force teleports? Force teleports you? I swear, I... Okay, I... Not enough mana, I... Oh my... What? Oh my goodness. Come on, you... Come on. What? What the... Oh my... You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I... Okay. Come on, come on. That was a bit spicy for me. Okay, well, it... I can just teleport home. So that Elytra flight is a very capable panic escape button. But what I should have done is... Oh, okay. I did not expect to still be flying. So if I do that, I... Huh? It kicked me off when I tried to change my spell. Huh? That's really, really weird. That... What? I pick a healing spell and it crashes the game. That is... Frightening and strange. Okay, I am going to reboot all the mods 9. There is a small but meaningful possibility that crash the server, which would mean I have to wait for someone to put it back up. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I gotta do to be a villain. I gotta figure out ways to crash the server without people knowing it was me. It says intermittent failures or slowdowns connecting to realms in the Minecraft launcher. So maybe it's an issue with Minecraft's netcode itself right now, but it I can't imagine that it would affect anything running on our server. That's the thing. So they didn't say anything about a crash. Which makes me think that it's just connected to iron spells and spellbooks. It raises the small possibility that I might need to literally ask an operator, which, well, technically I do have mod powers, but it's not like I have MC editor access to the server files to edit. I have to go and actively remove something from my inventory. Maybe. It's possible that it might be an issue with conflicting keybinds. Because I think that I use R as my Iron Spells and Spellbooks spell switching key. And there is a small but meaningful possibility that being cured as a keybind is something else might lead to it just totally crashing. I don't think that's the case. But it's very, very possible. If it just kicks me off, I swear. That said, we should be able to get back in soon. And as fun as I find it to play all the mods 9, the biggest issue with it is just, if something like this happens, 
I do need to reboot the mod pack, which takes a minute minimum. And then go back on the server, which also takes time. And... Ooh! Ooh! It seems like the server has crashed. I'm gonna ask and see if it crashed for anyone else. Server crashed for anyone else. So the server's crashed, it... Not much can be done. But it does seem as if it was related somehow to me selecting that spell. If it is just me, maybe I'm just screwed. Maybe it just hates me. Which... I'm gonna try one more reboot, but... No, no further information. Huh. It's pinging it and nothing comes back. I'm gonna refresh this one more time, but... This seems like some bad, stupid business, and I might need to... Call it a night just because this server isn't working. Which would be stupid, but it... It happened before. It happened the first time I got on the server. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna try this one more time. Now it's... You know, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Genshin never did this. At least it wasn't server issues. There was one time where the game crashed five separate times because my computer was overheating. But that was because of summer. I blame it all on summer. It's not because selecting a spell led to... Why does it always say enforcement in Tiny Bird Variant for Twilight Forest? It's always interesting to me. I have thought about... There's a mod in the mod pack called The Lost Cities, which doesn't really add any resources, but adds a dimension that is just a bunch of abandoned buildings with mob spawners in them. So, I'm not sure I'd want to live in the buildings themselves, but I feel as if some kind of post-apocalyptic Daisy-esque city would be a nice place for me to personally live in the server. Let's see what happens. I just... I'm gonna try this one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna call it a night. You did get some stuff done. And it, yeah, it does seem to kind of have been crushed. So, the server's down. It might come back up, but it would take some time. I think Dom's at work right now, so I don't think he can start it back up. It would probably be good for him to give other people the ability to reboot it. But, for now, I think... Also a little under the weather. So, I think, for better or worse, I'm going to take that as a sign and just end things early. Apologize to anyone who wanted this to go down longer, but it was fun. Got some stuff done. Next time I will be able to return with newly replenished strength. So thank you everyone for watching. Drop a follow if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Sound Ragan, thank you.